<clears throat> we continue in chapter one, functions and limits. In section 1.5, we're talking about the limit of a function. So we're gonna explore this idea of limit that we have uh, introduced with the tangent problem and the velocity problem. To find the tangent to a curve or the velocity of an object, we now turn our attention to limits in general and numerical and graphical methods for computing them. Right Before we just approximated the limit. We didn't actually prove you know, what the limit was, but now we're going to explore that idea. Let's investigate the behavior of a function f defined by f of x equals x squared minus x plus 2 for values of x near 2. <clears throat> so we're going to explore f of x equals x squared minus x plus 2 for values of x near 2 but not equal to 2. And so here, you know, we, we see the outputs. You know, when we put x equals 1 into the function, you know, we get 1 squared minus 1, oops, not, not x. x squared minus 1 plus 2, and that's 2. That is 2. And we can do that, you know, all day. And we do that for values of x approaching 2, getting closer and closer to 2, kind of thing that we did with the tangent problem and the velocity problem. And we're kind of getting used to looking at the y column of the table and seeing where that goes. Well, it looks like it's going to 4, OK? When x is very close to 2, x coming from the left, values less than 2, f of x appears to be approaching 4 because it's at 3.997001. And again, the same thing is happening. As x approaches 2 from the right, you know, we start at 3 and we get lesser, 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 lesser numbers going all the way down close to 2. <coughs> the values of f of x again appear to be approaching from the table four. and the graph of f, a parabola, right? It's x squared minus x plus 2. We see that when x is close to 2, on either side of 2, f of x is close to 4. So we're approaching 2 from the left. And as we do, what's f of x? f is 2 going down to 1 point something up to back up to 2 up to 3 and getting close to 4 as x approaches 2 from the right well we're not even in the window here but then we come into the window <coughs> excuse me <coughs> we come into the window and decreasing 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 f gets down uh, from 6 to 5 to 4. <clears throat> it appears. Looks like the point 24 is right on that graph. <clears throat> In fact, it appears that we can take, make the values of f of x as close as we like to 4 by taking x sufficiently close to 2. You know, if we have a certain, you know, nearness to 4 that we'd like to have, well, all we have to do is make x, you know, 
closer and closer and closer to two until we meet that desire. We express this by saying the limit of the function f of x equals x squared minus x plus two as x approaches two is equal to four. Okay, we can get as close as we like to four. We can get y as close as we like to four by making x close enough to two. The notation for this is the limit as x approaches two of x squared minus x plus two equals four. The limit as x approaches two of x squared minus x plus two equals four. In general, we use the following notation. Okay, so here's a definition of limit. Definition of limit. This, I would have to say, is a less formal definition of limit. And then later, we're going to have a more formal def definition of limit. But the idea of limit is the uh, foundation of everything we do in calculus. We write the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals l and say the limit of f of x as x approaches a equals l. So you could say it either way. Um, limit of f of x or I say limit as x goes to a of f of x equals l if we can make the values of f of x arbitrarily close to l, okay? What, how, as close as anyone wants to L. We can do that with f of x, as close as we like, by taking x to be sufficiently close to A on either side of A, but not equal to A. <clears throat> this says that the values of f of x tend to get closer and closer to the number L as x gets closer and closer to the number A from either side of A, but x not equal to A. We're not concerned about x equaling a, but just approaching a. An alternative notation for limit as x approaches a of f of x equals l is this other notation. f, appro f of x approaches l as x approaches a. which is usually read f of x approaches l as x approaches a. Yeah, usually. So here's our definition. We're just gonna keep referring to that. Notice the phrase x not equal to a in the definition of limit, okay? Not equal to a. This means that in finding the limit of f of x as x approaches a, we never consider x equals a, okay? It doesn't mean that x can't be a. Um, it just means that x is approaching a. We don't really care about x equaling a. We don't consider it. In fact, f of x not even be defined when x equals a. The only thing that matters is how f is defined near a. <clears throat> Figure 2 shows the graphs of three functions. Note that in part c, okay, note that in this one down here, f of a is not defined. And, okay, so f of a is not defined, right? Here's an open circle. There's not even a point there, but we can still talk about the limit as x approaches a of f of x, and that it's l. And in part b, f of a does exist. Okay, here's f of a. There's an open circle there. f of a equals this other number here. 
you know, whatever the y value of that point right there is. And it's not equal to L, okay? The limit as x approaches a of f of x is going to be the y value of this point that's not on this graph. And that's not equal to f of a. And here, that's the normal one, f of x does happen to equal L, but it doesn't have to because we don't care what happens at A, we only care what happens near A. In each case, regardless of what happens at A, it is true that the limit as x approaches A of f of x equals L. <clears throat> Guess the value of the limit as x approaches 1 of x minus 1 over x squared minus 1. Okay, what do we think that is? Okay, x is approaching 1, got this function, which is this rational function, x minus 1 over x squared minus 1. What do we think the value of the limit will be? Notice that the function is not defined when x equals 1. Okay. You could put 1, you know, right in there, um, right in here, and in here, okay, x, when x equals 1, you got 1 minus 1 in the denominator, you got a 0 denominator, that's not even defined. But it doesn't matter, because the definition of limit as x goes to a of f of x says that we consider values of we consider values of x that are close to a but not equal to a. We don't care about their equaling a even though if it, it's okay if it does. In this case it can't. The tables below give values of f of x correct to six decimal places for values of x that approach 1 but are need not equal to 1. So here we are, x is less than 1, x is to the left of 1, it's approaching 1, it's getting close to 1, but it doesn't equal 1. And f of x is doing what it's doing, okay? It appears to be approaching 1 half. For x, values of x greater than 1, and we're going down to 1, not up to 1. Well, imagine that. F, values of f of x again appear to be approaching 1 half. <clears throat> on that basis, on the basis of the values in the tables, we make the guess that the limit as x approaches 1 of x minus 1 over x squared minus 1 equals 0.5. So this is illustrated in this graph of f in figure 3. This is a partial graph of f. It's not a complete graph, but it is the part that matters because it's the part that has x equals 1. Now let's change f slightly by giving it the value 2 when x equals 1 and calling the resulting function g. Okay, so now instead of just the open circle there and nothing, you know, nothing, no point there and no value of the function for x equals 1, now we're going to say, okay, well, let's put a point up here at 2. Okay, so the point 1, 2 will be on the graph. This new function, g, still has the same limit as x approaches 1. For both of them, the limit as x approaches 1 of the function is 1 half. Okay, 1 half. The y-coordinate of this point that's not here. Okay.
Okay, so in either case, whether we're talking about f or g, you know, we, we will say the limit as x approaches 1 of, we could say f of x or g of x equals 0.5.